Hello, if you watched my last video, you heard me gnashing my teeth and crying because I was trying to play the Dreamcast game Guilty Gear X in the Flycast emulator and was not getting any music playing during actual fighting matches. It would play in the sound test uh, uh, screen in options and it would play in menus and load screens, but not during actual matches. Turns out that there's a very good reason for that, because I was missing something in my setup that I assumed was not important. Uh, turns out it is. So here's the problem I was getting. I'll just run the ROM real quick and uh, point out the issue. Just hitting start repeatedly to get into a arcade match. So you can hear music here. I have the volume down fairly low. Once the match actually starts though... No music. Strange, or so I thought. All right. Now, uh, here's the Dreamcast BIOS. I did not think this was uh, important to have. I did not. It did not occur to me that I could have dumped the BIOS using Dreamshell while I was going into Dreamshell to dump game GD ROMs. Uh, notice I do not have the BIOS file. It's looking for it in the flycast slash data directory. And I did not dump it. So, turns out, uh, maybe I should dump the BIOS. So, I had to drag my Dreamcast out of the cupboard, hook all the cables back up, and uh, put the DC SD adapter V2 into the back with an SD card, and put the Dream Shell boot disk into the uh, GD-ROM drive, and I'm going to go fire it up, and we'll try to dump that BIOS, so hang on a moment. Okay, here we are in Dream Shell. Now, I just want to see, because I believe the BIOS, when dumped, will go into a rather obscure folder on the SD card in the Dreamshell program folders. Uh, where? BIOS. So I think it'll go in here because uh, I tried it once and it seemed to put something in there. So let's hope that happens. Okay, BIOS flasher. Uh, read. Uh, maybe this is where it's going to put it. Okay, what if I don't want it in there? Let's put it somewhere. Can I make a... I can't make a folder? What's this do now? Uh, oh, well, let's just put it here. Okay. I think that'll work. Confirm. I didn't breathe, and so it's saved it as this file backup 1998, because that's my system clock date. I probably, I don't know. Uh, okay. Did we see it? Dang it. And there it is. So that's a .bios file. Not sure exactly. I think I have to rename that to run it in the uh, in the emulator. But we'll find out uh, when we go back to Windows. Hang on a sec. Okay, we're back in Windows. So this should be my BIOS file from on the SD card. Uh, so I'm gonna copy you. Put you in the. Well, Flycast says uh, it looks for it in the data folder. 
Now, I don't know if it looks for it under this weird name. Um, probably going to have to rename it, but let's just see if it finds that. No. Oh, I wish it told me what file name it was looking for here. I'm going to have to go to look this up. Uh, hang on a sec. Okay, apparently it has to be dc underscore boot dot bin. Uh, it also talks about a flash file, which maybe was something else I should have dumped. Well, there's a b d c boot dot bin. Hey, hey. Okay, that's, uh, that's fun. Can I come in here? Hey, hey cool. Uh, okay, how do I, how do I not? Let's get out of here. Okay, let's see if we have music. Oh. We have music. So uh, there you go. Uh, I fixed it. Um, that's very loud. Well, I wonder if I should go try to dump the flash, whatever that is, too. Probably, so I don't have to hook all this stuff up again. Um... But yeah, so, had to dump the BIOS, it turned out, and that fixed the music problem, so I guess I'll have to do another Guilty Gear uh, thing at some point. Um, yeah. Well, I'm an idiot, as always. Thanks for watching. See you later. Hmm, well, I cannot find a way to dump uh, the... DC's flash memory in Dream Shell. I, there's probably some way to do it. I don't know. Uh, I think possibly uh, Flycast is generating... Well, Flycast generates this file called DC underscore NV mem dot bin. And I think it's maybe using that as its own uh, flash uh file because this is you notice this is 128 kilobytes and i've looked at uh flash files dc underscore flash dot bin files from the internet and they're the same size so uh maybe flycast can just simulate that whole part of it i think it's used people were say, saying like if if you're <coughs> If the emulator, I think they might have been talking about other emulators, is not saving the, the time and date correctly, make sure you have the the DC underscore flash dot bin. So I think maybe uh, maybe that's what the flash uh, file is for, is stuff like that, saving time and date. Um, and when I when I run the uh, when I run the Flycast BIOS or the Dreamcast BIOS through Flycast, it updates the uh oh didn't update it there if i exit yeah it updates this dc nv mem dot bin so i think that's flycast's own uh flash uh, file essentially so maybe the dc underscore flash dot bin isn't needed for flycast i don't know but uh, anyway, my problem with the Guilty Gear X music seems to be fixed, so I guess I'm going to call this good for now. Uh, anyway, that's, that's all I got.